Hello YouTube, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at slow-mo video. It is a um, free alternative to Twixter. Um, and first I'm going to talk, uh, talk about the uh, techniques you need to use in shooting uh, footage to use in the software. So the software works by interpolating frames, like building frames in between the physical frames shot by your camera. So, for that reason, it's probably better to shoot with a faster frame rate, uh, something like uh, 60 frames per second. Um, on top of that, you want to minimize your motion blur, and with that, you need a manual camera, or you need to shoot in uh, bright light, and hopefully your camera will expose for that. Um, but basically, you want to go over like 1 25th of a second, uh, to kind of freeze that motion, just get the highest uh, shutter speed possible in the scene you can shoot. And then that brings us to the topic of the scene. You want to minimize camera movement, um, and that will kind of give the software one less variable to solve uh, when for the movement of the people. And then you also want to try and shoot your objects or your subjects against um, a relatively blank surface, like a blank wall, or something with uh, something that can easily be separated between your um, subject and the background. You also want to make sure you don't shoot overlapping movements of the subject. So, like, if somebody's hand goes behind them, the sufferer is going to have a hard time picking that out when it goes back in front of them again, and you're going to get this weird artifact. So let's uh, go ahead and download this. So open your favorite web browser and um, hop on over to slowmovideo.grandjow.net uh, or just search slowmo video in like Google or Bing and it should take you right here um, to the welcome screen. You can read about this. It's all open source and free and was originally developed for Linux. So you can hop on over to downloads and then select uh, Windows, either, and you can choose your compression. Um, and once that's downloaded, you also need to download uh, this over here. So hop on over to that link, um, and then uh, choose the static 32-bit um, version of FFmpeg, and then. Uh, they're all going to download and you're going to uncompress them and get these two, uh, hop into the FFmpeg um, bin and then copy the FFmpeg.exe, go back to the slow-mo video folder and then paste that in there. And now you're ready to run the program. Uh, so you go ahead and open slow-mo video UI user interface and you're uh, you're confronted with this uh, graph here and uh, a few different labels and just select file new. This will give you, um, this will prompt you to make a new directory for your project. Um, so I'll make a new one. New folder, new folder. Okay, that's good enough for me. And then we'll call this uh, tut for tutorial. And then you need to choose your input uh, your input movie, select that, um, and it will go ahead and give you the information. That's good enough. Uh, select OK. Now it's going to process your video, um, and that's going to take a few minutes. So I'm just going to sit around here, and I'll get back to you when it's done. All right, we're back on the other side of this, and we have our image processed, and so we can take a look at what this does. Um, if you move your cursor on the y-axis of this, it will play your video in the input monitor. And we'll get to how that's useful in a second. So uh, if you click on the graph, it adds a point, um, another point, and connects that with a slope. Uh, go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and set this to um, the positive one speed to just like regular how it would be played in a movie uh, or in a uh, video uh, viewer currently um, and you have it playing uh, exactly um, the right speed and no slow motion and so this is what that you get an idea of what this is so um, 
the y-axis is the frames and the x-axis is the time that the frames are shown. Um, so if I want to make this slow motion, I just can drag this out even further. Let's get rid of this node. Let's drag this out even further and now it's going to be slower. Um, even more to an extent if I did this. Uh, and so you can just uh, kind of set up your movie how you want it, like say about at this frame, uh, I want it to go even slower, so I come over here and make that slower, and I want it to go back to regular speed, so I'll just set that to 1, and that will be the movie. Um, and so you export it by going File, Render, um, you select your frame rate you want, um, I'll stick with 23.976, because that's the industry standard for uh, 24 frames per second. Um, then uh, that's fine, optical flow, um, leave it as it is for the most part. Like it says here, um, try rendering out like smaller uh, segments of this to get an idea of exactly like how it will affect your scene. Uh, so you can determine the best one, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to leave that as it is. And same thing with motion blur, because you do want a little bit just to make the 24 frames per second feel smoother. Um, you f you uh, select your output, um, your output directory and file name here. Uh, so I'll select this and I'll call it uh, more fun. Because as you can see, I already have fun over there. Um, This is the file directory. You can uh, this controls the file directory. You can select your uh, file name and directory here. Um, so maybe I just want to put this in, on my desktop as um, as uh, typed. All right. Open, and that will save it out afterwards. So. You click OK and it renders it out. And it's, it takes a while depending on uh, how much slow motion you have in it and how long your, stuff, your um, video is, but it's, it's a decent time. So just take a step back, let your uh, computer compute and go get a snack or something. All right, I'm back on the other side, and with any luck, you'll get something similar to this with uh, some speed and then some slow motion. Now, uh, if I pause it here and kind of scroll back, you'll see um, there's these there's this artifacting around around the hands um, where it's kind of dragging like the stuff beside the hands. Um, along with the motion and um, that is uh, the biggest problem when it comes to software interpolations um, in slow motion because it's not it's it's trying to figure out what the slow motion would be if it was captured at a higher frame rate and sometimes there's artifacting like that um, you can see it in the ground here too um, and there are ways of fixing this. Um, there, this software comes with a flow editor, uh, which you can use to kind of fix some of this artifacting, but not all. Um, I'll be, I'll uh, put a link to it in the description here of a tutorial on how to do that, or a walkthrough on how to do that. But other than that, uh, it's it. Um, all right, that's it. If you like this, um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be uh, willing to put out some more like ways of faking uh, slow motion and uh, After Effects or in, uh, 3D, uh, like Blender. Uh, but besides that, um, see you next time.